Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to the One Man, One Mod, Season 7, World of Batania. That's right, baby. Oh, it's time for the tours of all the patrons. That at least gave me a coordinates, a set of coordinates, on their uh, bases. And we're going to go check them out. We might even find one or two. We'll see. One for sure. That was not on my coordinate list, but I was snooping around on the server, and I may have found it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, man. I've been gone out of town for two weeks. I had to go. Get out of here, cow. I had to go to Wisconsin for business. So I was in Wisconsin for a little while, uh, but I'm back now, and it's time to get going. So the first base that we're going to look at, let's jump in here and get, get to work, is going to be Sussex. Sussex Driver. This is his base. <laughs> so we got to spend some time here because the server has been up for about six weeks. As opposed to a month like normally we have the server running. We had to run it a little bit longer than normal just because of this trip that I had to take. Yeah, that's for sure. Anyway, let's take a look here and see what Sussex has got. So over here is a thing. This looks like his stone farm. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Yeah, he's got some stone kicking around in there. That's awesome. Here's his jaded amaranthus, his flower farm. He's got his drums up there, drums of the wild. Looks awesome. And then over here looks like a tree farm. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Oh, man, I bet it's clear full of stuff. Let's see. No. <laughs> Tons of apples. Where the saplings go? Down here? I bet they're down here. I don't know. He's got some kind of railway situation going on over there. That's pretty cool. I probably shouldn't have been over here. Here's his uh, farm. He's got all kinds of Pam's Harvest type uh, fruits and veggies going in here. Look at this house that he's built. Oh, man. I love it. Is that sandstone? Limestone. Oh, it looks great. Oh, yes. Over here is, I guess, his fishing apparatus. Is that what that is right here? Water filter, hopper. What's in this thing? Oh, he's got. Oh, he's making salt and fresh water right there. That's a ground trap. He doesn't have anything in it. What's over here? This looks like an AFK fish farm of some sort. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. All right, this is awesome. Here's more of his. Uh, cropland. This looks like mainly vanilla crops up here, right? Pumpkins, uh, melons, potatoes, carrots, beetroot, wheat, sugarcane, netherwort. Yeah, I'm down with that for sure. What's this over here? Is this an uh, apiary from Pam's? Yeah, it's getting all kinds of good stuff in there. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Oh, before we do that, over here is his um, hydrangea setup. Oh, that looks pretty good for sure. Yeah, yeah. And he's got some elven mana spreaders here. He's got a pulse mana spreader. And I guess he's doing something with it. He's sending it up there to the drum. Maybe he's adding new hydrangeas as he needs them. Is that possible that that's what he's doing? Oh, that's exactly what he's got going on here, I'm thinking. Water bucket. Yeah, filling up water buckets. Nice. And this is hopper. And yeah, oh, I just picked up a whole bunch of hydrangeas. That's awesome. So he's automated Hydrangea so he can have unlimited mana. I love that. I love that. Oh, man. People are so much smarter than I am when it comes to doing some of this stuff. Yeah, over here is another one of these deals. I guess that's just an open crate so he can drop stuff in it. Yeah. Run stuff in there. He's picking stuff up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job, Sussex. That's amazing. Up here is some Endo Flames doing their deal. Make a charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's got a little bit of a deal going on here. Maybe that's where that... Oh, that might be where that minecart trail comes across. Oh, I love that. Uh, Randy, as you saw my um, like little channel update video before I went on vacation, Randy got me a new mouse. And let me tell you what, I haven't quite figured out how to use it yet, so I apologize from... If it's a little bit like herky jerky, let me go in here and see what Sussex has got. So there's an enchanting setup. Looks pretty good. Over here is some chests, I guess, just for random junk. Yeah, I'm going to throw these in there. They don't belong to me. That looks good. Uh, so he's got some furnaces. 
Let's go upstairs and see what's on the second floor. Just open area. Look at that chandelier, though. That looks awesome. He's got a way to go out there and a way to go out there. I love that. All right, let's go and see what's in here. Here's his super cool storage where he's just putting stuff around that he needs to. Okay, I love that. Looks awesome. Anything else that we need to see? Is there like a downstairs that I feel like I'm missing? No, maybe not. I don't see any way down. Let's just look over here. Brewing setup right here. Presser from ham from Ham's Pam's Harvest. Man, I gotta get back in the habit of recording. Man, I haven't recorded anything for like two weeks. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Thank you all so much for being patient with me. What's this over here? This is... He's got some mystic purple flowers down in here. And then his portals down in this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I hope I catch everything. You know, sometimes it's kind of hard. Oh, I love this house. It looks so good. And I love the fact that he was building with living wood. That's amazing. Looks great. Uh, something cool over here. Let's go see. So this is... Oh, this is where he did his Gaia fight. Yeah, okay. And he's got... Some stuff heading over this way, a minecart track. Maybe he can just ride, I guess. Maybe that's what it's for. So he can ride back and forth. This is a restricted area. Anyone inside without an invite will have reasonable force <laughs> used against them up to killing. Well, too bad, man. I'm busting up in here. So he's got lots of farms going on over here. Yeah. Uh, maybe this is... Maybe this is like... I don't know. This looks like a completely different base, but we're going to go in here and sneak around and see what we can find. Uh, there's lots of charcoal. Oh, good grief. Okay, there's things for all the flowers. We don't need that. We can we can fly. Oh, that looks good. Maybe this... I have a feeling... What does this say over here on this fence? Yeah, I figured this maybe was Iron Brew's base with all the minecart stuff. And he's got the start of, looks like a semi over here maybe. Or maybe it's a train he's building. I bet that's a train. No, an Iron Brew. It's probably a a train. It looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it. You know what? Time, set, day. I was talking to Super Fisher. He was on a minute ago. Messing around doing stuff. Yeah. Over here is Iron Brew's tree farm set up using uh, force relays which are pretty cool he's got like some mine carts running all over the place I love it I love it you know I had a uh, I saw a base one time it was a guy named uh, Duke Duke Minecraft I think he made a base where the goal of his base was just to be able to hop in a mine cart and go like skating around and get to all the different places in his base I love that. I love that idea. And I guess he can come over here and see what's going on over here at Sussex. He's probably over here stealing stuff. <laughs> Maybe not. Probably not. I love it. I love it. I love this setup from Sussex. Uh, it looks great. Man, excellent job. Like I said, I hope I got all the places that I was supposed to see over here. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, next up. Here's what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to... Um, I want to turn this off. Okay. All right, so next, let's go talk. Let's go see what's going on with Andrew. We'll teleport over there. Oh, daddy. Oh, man. All right, let's go see what Andrew's got going on over there. Oh, he's got a little smelter array. Feeding charcoal into, I guess, feeding wood. Is that what that's doing, I would guess? Yeah, he's... I guess he puts a whole bunch of wood in there, and I'm guessing charcoal comes out the other side. That's exactly what's happening there. I love that. I love that. I seem to have seen these before in the past. Excellent design, if I must say so myself. All right, let's see what else he's got. So here is his tree farm. Yeah, so he's planting a couple trees there. He's got some floating agricarnations around, giving us some extra bone meal effects. And he's got like a two by two. He's got, oh yeah, that works like a dream, this little guy, that force relay. Nice. And, oh, he's got tons of saplings over there. I don't want to pick those up. Oh, I love that tree farm. So force relays, bouncing stuff left and right. Yeah, I guess maybe he's got a force relay underneath, maybe? Oh, it looks great. What is that? 
That's a man of glass pane sitting right there. There's some empty holes in the ground, but that's okay. Let's see what else Mr. Andrew has going on around here. Let's head up this way. So here is a bunch of Pam's Harvest stuff. He's got signs. We'll read those in just a second. Here's a coarse fruit farm. I guess that's just manual so we could get the purple blocks that he needed. That's that's cool. I'm down with that. All right, let's see. Leeks, coffee beans, cactus fruit, sweet potatoes. Oh, these are just like, I guess, signs that tell me what's... Yeah. Celery. Tea leaf, bamboo, etc. Blueberry, kiwi, eggplant, beans. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Crazy farms that Andrew has. He has like, I don't know if it's one of everything, but man, it's a lot. That is for sure. Carrots. Beetroot, kale, rye, potatoes. Yeah, he's got oh, look at this dragon fruit. That's awesome. Okay, let's see what this is. All right. This looks like the main entrance to his base. He's got a floating rose arcana right there and a bunch of pigs. I guess he's making pork chops. Maybe he's using the an entity cramming rule there, maybe. I don't know. He's got a chicken farm right there. And here's cows and sheep. Yeah, maybe that's how he's... Oh, 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 hello? I don't know if every once in a while maybe it tries to feed. Bergamute, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I'm guessing that's exactly what's happening. Every so often he's breeding these guys, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, he just killed a whole bunch of... Tried to kill some chickens. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh yeah, feathers and all kinds of stuff in there. That's awesome, Andrew. That's actually a really great idea. Floating hourglass up here. This must kick off the breeding cycle. So he can load it up with different kinds of breeding materials. Yeah. And just dump them in and try to breed up these cows. And then I'm guessing the entity cramming rule. If you don't know what that is, that means you can only have so many item or uh, entities in a single space. Maybe that's what he's got going on. Here's his flower farm. Yep. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. All right, let's go inside and see what he's got going on inside here. Uh, made banners. That looks good. The bakery. So there's some crazy stuff going on in here. Is he making cakes? Automatic cake maker. I guess that's what it was. He's using some droppers and hoppers. And he's running everything into the crafting crate. Which I guess is spitting out cakes. Which then are getting picked up. There's a floating Kekamurus, right? So he's making mana over here for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a mana splitter. Splitting mana into multiple pools. I love that. Force relay. That's a pulse band spreader. What's that say? On or off? Okay, we don't need to turn it on. That's awesome. And not only does it, uh, is it cool because it's like a, you know an automatic cake making machine, but it's also enclosed in this awesome room. Dreamwood planks. Oh, yeah, it looks so good. Wheat field, agricarnation, on or off. So right now it's off, which is okay. That's awesome. Okay, let's go up here and take a look and see what else he has. There's a little chest with some pieces, parts in it. Um, here's his apiaries, collecting stuff for honey. Yeah, pressed wax. What else is in there? Is that honey drops? Yeah, okay. And then, what is this crazy thing up here? Oh, this is mana. Endoflames and such. And then he's feeding stuff up here so he can automatically make... Maybe he can automatically make it. That's pretty cool right there. I'm telling you, these guys are crazy smart. Yeah, so this is producing mana. I'm guessing... This is his Man of Steel setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Over here is Enchanting. He's using Mana Pylons, which double as bookshelves, which is pretty cool. He's got tons of books in there. Automatic Apothecary. Tice items. Tice items to stand back. Wait for empty bucket before to be collected before adding new recipe items. Okay. Okay. That's how he's filling up that thing. That's pretty cool. Manatai bellows, bellows, which are increasing the output of his furnace. He's using saplings in there. That's pretty cool. Is there, like, uh, some guys back there? Can I get to this chest? Yeah, tons of oak saplings in there from his tree farm, I would guess. 
uh, concrete helper can make concrete. Yeah. Look, it's, it's like his base is made out of living rock and all kinds of stuff. Oh, it's great. Here's his runic altar. Okay. Which I guess is feeding mana via... Is there a spark up there? I'm not sure how he's getting mana into that runic altar. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's got like a thing underneath shooting mana up to it. Yeah, this guy. Elven Mana Spreader. Awesome. All right, let's go over here and see what's happening over here. There's his... That's his Natura Pylon. That's his Uvering Hourglass. That's more of uh, Floating Endo Flames. I guess that's maybe how he's feeding mana into those guys. Oh, his portal's behind me. Okay. That's how he's keeping his portal open. Very nice. Not sure where he's getting... Oh, is this a... Dispenser? Yeah. So he's shooting coal up. That's awesome. Shooting coal up, feeding these guys, and then he's keeping his portal open. Oh, it's so good, Andrew. And then I don't know what this... Maybe this is just like a cool... One of those cool like infinity pool things. In his modern house build. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. <laughs> nice job, Andrew. Let's go over here and see what's on this side. We probably should have came through the house, I guess. We were just right here, right? Okay. Let's go over here and see. Uh, there's nothing. There's his armor stand with his... Um, what's the pink stuff called? I can't I can't remember. Uh, helm. It's uh, Elementium. Okay. There's his Elementium, and he's got a bow. Crystal bow. Terra blade. There's his Man of Steel, and he's got just a regular bow and a Man of Steel sword. And then here's his diamond armor, and then here's probably his first set. Oh yeah, now, I'm guessing I'm guessing this uh, guy over here is for his Terra Steel armor, which I'm sure he's uh, carting around on right now using. Let's go up here and see what is happening. Okay, that's just up there still. Okay, very super modern house. I love. It. He's got a big terrace out here. Oh, it looks so good, Andrew. What is up here on the rooftop? Oh, this is how he automates his flowers and stuff. Yep, that's exactly what that is. So he can make his flowers. Oh, it looks great. He's up here in the snow. He's done some pretty good terraforming. Oh, man, it looks so good, Andrew. I love it. I love it. Let's just spin around here real slow-like and just take it all in. I love those archways. I love um, using living rock as a building material. It's great. It looks so good. Oh, excellent job. Let me do uh, this. Okay. All right. Let's go over here. That's awesome, Andrew. Nice job, Andrew R73. Now, when I was over here earlier looking at Andrew's base, I just was checking to see if my, my coordinates, my teleports, we're working the way I want to. I saw this little shack over here with this crazy fence around here and a little couple of setups around. I'm like, man, I don't have this as a waypoint. Then I came over here and saw, lo and behold, this is old Randy's house. He's just got a basic setup. I don't know how long, how much time he actually spent playing on the server. I do love these oak plank planks that look so good. Chisel, chiseled oak planks. I love that. Maybe he's got some Pam stuff going on over here. He's got some random animals rolling around. Yeah. He's got his mining dimension portal. He's got it all lit up. There's a creeper over there, but he's got it all lit up, man. He's got an enchanting setup going on. He's got whatever this crazy thing is. This would probably keep him out of falling in there. That's exactly what I would need, that's for sure. Oh, man, I love it, Randy. I love it. Yeah. Man, whatever. I don't care. No one, you know, I love uh, Andrew's base, but that doesn't mean I like Randy's any less. I mean, it's cool. I'm down. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we can go get ourselves into. So who's next? Let's um turn this off. Uh, let's go take a look at Super Fishy. All right, let's see what he's got going on here. So he's got some regular farms happening, right? So we've got wheat, beetroot, carrot, potatoes, all that kind of stuff. He's got a plum tree and a string tree, which is amazing. Look at all those crazy things. They're like went crazy over there growing all around. 
This is Living Rock, Living Stone, Generator. Stoner Wood goes in here. So what he's got? He's got a Floating Rain of Carpus. So that's planning, I'm guessing. Yeah, so whatever it's sitting on top of is where it'll plant items. So we drop in wood or stone in here, and it'll plant it there. And then I guess he's using these Force Relays. So he's got a Pulse Mana Spreader with uh, a lens on it, and he's shooting across this way. So it gets one, two, three, four. And I guess this guy, this force relay, is probably maybe dumping items into the pool. And then we've got another one that goes across here. And then he's got a hopper hawk picking up all his materials. Awesome. What is this guy? Solignolia. All right, so the Solignolia, if you don't know what that is, that prevents your magnet from working. So you can actually come over here and do stuff, and this thing's going to start dumping items. Uh, but it won't, it won't let your magnet work. Okay. So this over here is just a little simple uh, feeding his endoflame. Yeah, it works like a dream. There's his uh, terrestrial agglo agglomeration plate where he can make Terra Steel. Um, he's got, he, he actually used a mana pump and a guy, a mana spreader. Look at all this mana he's got stacked around here with like insane sparks. That's, I guess, how he's feeding his um, agglomeration plate, right? He's using all this mana in these different things. Unfinished mob farm down ladder. We're gonna go see. We gotta go check it out. That's a ton of mana pools for sure. And he's got a mob farm down here, right? Uh, that's a bell of thorns. We can kill the mobs, I guess. Yeah. I don't know where they come out at. I'm guessing they land there, and then he's raking in the goods there. Yeah. All right. That's cool. I'm down with that. Looks good. Let's go up and see what else we can find over at Superfishy's base. Okay. All right, this is good. Now, this right here, let's see if we can figure out what this crazy thing is. There's where he's feeding all his mana into his, via his mana pump. So what a mana pump does, if you don't know, it extracts mana from a mana pool, and you can load it into a mana pool minecart, and then it goes down the way here and unloads it into these guys. Yep, he's got a, some sparks there. Let me see what this spark is. Is that one of the ones that... I don't know if I can actually see. But it's got that little, like, icon on it, which I think means that this is the one, that this one fills up. It'll fill up from any other mana pools in range. Look, he's making cakes over there like a dream. That's exactly what that is. We're going to go check that in a second. What is this guy? Is this his, like, storage area? Delivery for... Oh, my goodness. That's, that's like a present or something. So there's his market. There's storage. Yeah, he's got some stuff in there. Man of Diamonds, Man of Pearls, all that kind of different stuff. That's awesome. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on here with this crazy cake-making device. So we obviously we have Chicken Farm here producing eggs that are probably being picked up by something. That's Agricarnations up there. Uh, I guess those eggs are being picked up. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's getting eggs from there, and he's loading eggs into this. Okay? And then, I don't know what this item frame is. That's feathers, so he's using that to store feathers. He's got a cow right there that he's using for milking purposes, so he can get milk. Okay. Um, he's got sugar being put here, which I guess he's converting using a crafty crate. Yeah, okay, so he's picking up sugar cane here. Yeah. And it's going into this hopper. Yep. And then, then sugar is dropping out. And he's picking up that sugar somewhere. Probably with a hopper hawk up here. Um, yeah, sugar is going in there. Awesome. Okay. Beautiful. And then he's got some mana detectors here. He's got some force relays. And he's got wheat. Goes in there. Corporal funnels. So he's got... A little bit of a corporal system going on here. And we can see how much of each item he has. And I guess he's using... He's somehow crafting... How is he crafting cakes? Where did I see those? Right here? Bring hourglass. I would assume he's probably crafting them there. Maybe. Okay. And where's his Kekamurus? It's got to be around here somewhere. Somewhere he's generating mana from this setup with a Kekamurus plant. That's awesome. He's using a, like a mana spreader shooting across. 
And what is this guy over here? Oh, mana splitter. So he's putting it in there and he's using it to shoot back across. That's how he's. That's so awesome. I just like can sit here and watch this forever. Oh, I love it, Superfish. Okay. Oh, there's his Kekamurus right there, eating it. Yeah. It's a random carpus. He's got a couple Kekamuruses right there. He's producing some mana. That mana is getting distributed over here, and then when this thing's full, it goes skating away. Oh my goodness. I love it, fishy. That's awesome. So essentially, he's growing. I mean, he's making cakes from flat out scratch, right? Eggs, wheat. He's got all of his agricarnations around to increase the grow speed. You can see that they're like going crazy over here. And then he's got uh, dispensers that plant the seeds. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love that. He also did a lot of building with living rock. Man, you can't go wrong, I think, building with living rock. Over here, looks like it appears to be a... Oh, yeah, we just harvested. He's got... Was it a drum of gathering? Is that what that is over here? Yep, drum of gathering. And he's got um, the spectrolus, which he's gathering. He's getting... Um, uh, he's making mana from the spectrolus. Yeah. I think that's what that one got. You have to feed it mana or wheat and or wool in a very specific order. So he's got all the different kinds of wheat. Uh, wheat. Wool, that's the word, up here. And I guess he's collecting it and he's feeding it into that spec spectral thing. Spectrolus. Yep, so he's got like repeaters here. So he's going and he's firing it all out. And then I guess it comes across maybe and sends it out the other way. Oh, I love it. I love a super fishy. So not like some crazy, amazing like build as far as like a base or anything like that but from a setup perspective i mean it's pretty amazing excellent job i love the fact that he's using the mana the mana pump and he's using a mine cart to deliver mana down around here where he's feet making terra steel out of oh it's so good it's so good i love it i love it <laughs> i love it okay so let's go see who is next i hopefully i got all of his stuff we're going to turn this off and then we've got Reba, and we've got, hmm, so let's have a few minutes left. Let's go over and take a look at Sir Merlin and see what he's got going on. Oh, I saw pictures of this back in the day. Oh, oh my goodness, what is this? I don't even know. That's just a piece of clothes. We're going to go look at that in just a second. I saw some pictures of him that he was making a big M. For Sir Merlin. That's amazing. How do we get in there? There's a door down here. Okay, let's go inside. Sandstone, I'm down with for sure. He's got uh, candles and he's got this crazy mutated grass all through here that's purple as well. So this must be his base. There's his living rock set up. He's probably, maybe he just switches that out for living wood. I would assume that's what he does. There is his uh, endo flames feeding mana into that guy. Uh, sticky piston. I don't know what this is. That's, oh, al oh, that's an excellent idea. So he slides the the alchemy catalyst underneath this thing when he needs it. Oh, that's excellent. That's a great idea, Merlin. I love that. There's his runic altar. Okay. Um, this was his setup for mana using hydrangeas. Yeah, enchanting station over there. I love this purple stain glass that's been that he's converted into bricks using the chisel mod. Looks great. What is that thing? Oh, it's just purple wool that he's got. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. I love it. I love the big M. All right, let's go take a look at the other parts of the base. I need to see what that is right there. Is this uh, what this is? His own little. This is his house. Maybe he's got he's got a presser and he's got his bed and he's got some storage and stuff like that here. All right, name tag. That is okay. Okay, I don't know what this is. I'm thinking this is Pam's harvest stuff. Can I walk up this way? Okay. There's some trees in here. Okay. I, mean, I guess technically this could be some kind of tree farm. Oh, oh, this new mouse man. At least it's not like triple and quadruple clicking or whatever the other one did. Uh, I'm just having trouble driving it at the moment. 
Okay, so maybe this the idea here was this was going to be like a tower and he was going to have tons and tons of plants and stuff in here. I mean, it goes up forever. Yeah, okay, now we're getting into cropland. Oh my goodness, look at all the different crops. And he's got... Oh. He's got water streams. So I don't know if he just goes through and harvests and like throws it all in there. Oh my goodness. I love these crop tower things. That's pretty awesome. And I guess everything just rolls downhill. Yep. So he just has to harvest it all. Oh my goodness. Maybe he has all the all the different items. There's pineapples. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love this type of farm. It's awesome. I'll tell you what, man. Sometimes you got people that are playing... Uh, playing on servers that just go absolutely crazy, and this is certainly an example of that. Oh, it looks so good. And maybe this lower part is for trees. Oh, there's some random skeletons up there. It needs to be lit up a little bit more, but... I mean, I'd hate to be climbing up this thing and get knocked off. That would be not good. Got different types of trees there. I don't know if he grew these or they're actually farmed there. I have a feeling they're probably farmed there. This is where he gets his stuff. Oh, it looks good. He's got some Pam's uh, trees up here as well. Hello, skeleton. How about I do one of these deals? There we go. Make it daytime. Oh, it looks good. Oh, I love it. Merlin, this is excellent. I'm down with stuff like this. I love, man, one thing, you know, some people in Minecraft that like to build really small. There's other people that like to be, be build really big, and I'm down with the big builders. That's for sure. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's see. Let me just go over here and look. Make sure I have everything. There's some vanilla crops going on. There's this fish trap. There's his petal apothecaries. We can get plenty of water for it. Over here is his mine or his mining world deal. There's his nether portal. And I'm guessing this is probably his initial mine. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I think. Yeah. I'm sure it's just a mine. Oh yeah. Nice job, Merlin. All right. Well, we're going to we're going to call this part 1. Uh, we've looked at Superfishy, we've looked at Andrew, we've looked at Sussex, we've looked at Merlin. I think that's it. Who else is off uh, at the moment? So, one, two, three. Sussex, Andrew, Superfishy, uh, Randy, and now Sir Merlin. So we're going to turn that off. So we're going to come back tomorrow. Uh, or actually, I, I don't know when this video is going to be up. Uh, I may just run a couple of them. Um, right after each other. So it's either going to be tomorrow or later on today. You will get episode two, and we might even have to do an episode three. But anyway, man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my One Man, One Mod patron server for Season 7 base tour, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.